Did you know that you can play with Shep Owens in the street ball challenges? You probably did because this video is almost a whole month late. But if you don't know, I'll teach you how to do it anyway. It's nice and easy. All you have to do is collect a few signs that are hidden around the city. And you can see having Shep Owens on your team, like he can do everything. So you don't have to start these street ball challenges with John and Tom. You can start with Shep Owens. So there are 10 signs in total. I'll show you how to get them all in this video. If you want to see more content, be sure to drop a like and show some love in the comments. Let me know what build you're rocking with on NBA 2K24. Last week was pretty busy for me, but now I have some time. So I'm back trying to double upload with all types of 2K content. It could be tutorials, build videos, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into it. For the first sign, you can actually get it right out of Sunset Park. All you have to do is bend this corner right here and you'll see the Shep Owen sign right on the wall. That's one, only nine more to go, chump. So for the second sign, all you have to do is skate over to the point. This one will be really easy to find. It'll be right outside the park, really hard to miss. So all you have to do is walk up to it and collect that sign. That's two, what you want a cookie or something? Sign number three is on the side of the training facility. What I do is walk up to the arena metal detector, turn right to the left and get to walking and you'll see it on the back wall right here. Easy money. That's three. You got a lot of free time on your hands, huh? Yes, you're going to hear every corny line they have in NBA 2K. So now you want to head to Chris Brickley's gym. There are two signs in this area. The first one is to the right of Chris Brickley's gym. Turn down the alley and you'll see it on the wall. Only six more to go, bozo. For the other sign that's in this area, all you have to do is go to the other side of Chris Brickley's gym and it'll be down another alley. They want you to go down so many alleys on this game, bro. Um, be careful, man. Stay on your P's and Q's. So it's one on the left side of Chris Brickley's and then it's one on the right side of Chris Brickley's. Make sure you pick up both that's of them. That's five. Halfway there, Sherlock. Congrats. For the net ship Owen sign, you have to go to the Art of Shooting building. You'll see the net sign in between the flowers and the bicycles. So go ahead and pick that up. That's six. You might want to get a life though, man. Just saying. For the next three, depending on where you started, you're going to have to make a little bit of a trip. So the next one is to the left of the rise entrance. Some of these I found naturally, but I'm not going to lie. That's I seven. missed this. Why are you stalking me? It's embarrassing, bro. If there's one outside of the rise park, you know it's one outside of the elite park. So go ahead and skate over to the elite park. And once you get there, you'll see the net sign to the right of the entrance. That's eight. Shouldn't you be working on your game? For the ninth sign, you can actually pick this up on the way to elite. It's on the side of the pro-am building. So walk over to the 3v3 side. You'll see a gap between the flowers and the wall. And that's where the net ship Owen sign will be. So go ahead and pick that up. And that would be sign nine out of 10. All right, that's nine. Keep going if you want to meet your hero. All right, for the last one, you just have to skate back to the yard. And once you collect nine signs, you'll see Shep Owen standing outside of the yard. All you have to do is talk to him and he'll hand you the 10th sign. Wait, you the one been putting all these posters up? It's called guerrilla marketing. Look into it. All right, bro, I guess I just let my game do the talking. Yo, is every MP annoying? Or is it just you and that other clown? Listen, man, I don't know what you got going on with that other MP, but you gotta let it go. You are here looking crazy can right now. Can I help now. you out with something, bro? Cause I got work to do. Actually, you can. Now that you mention it, man, listen, I've been hooping all around the city and I can use a little help. They got some tough competition out there. And you don't think I know that? Man, I run these streets. So why don't you run with me, huh? I've always respected your game, bro. And for what it's worth, I think you should have been drafted at 18. I'm saying. So, you win? If I'm gonna take on these cats at the yard, I'm gonna need your help, Shep. What you say? Yeah, let's go. All right, I, I guess I can do that. But don't expect me to carry you, though. You gotta hold your own or I'm out. Not even an issue. Hey, I'm gonna hit you up next time I get a game in. Cool? I bet. Yes, sir. Hey, good looking up, man. Let's get it. I appreciate you. So. Sure. So that's how you unlock Shep Owens for the street ball challenges. And once again, Chef Owens is a great player to have on your team. I mean, if you look at the attributes and stats, he can do everything. So if you're kind of struggling, trying to beat those first two or three challenges, pick up Chef Owens 
and it's about to become really easy. So I hope this video was able to help somebody out. More 2K on the way. I'll try to get out some gameplay. You have to see what I'm doing with my new build. So you all be easy. Take care. Peace.